Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to another play view. Today we're going to go for a nice short one. This is a game called Perfect Vermin. And as far as I'm aware from what I've seen of it, it involves exploring an office with a hammer and killing things. Um, and the game crashed. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> Very good start. Okay, so apparently playing this game with an internet connection causes it to crash. So, okay. Uh, there's a dev note on one of the Steam forums, which is like, we don't know. So, okay, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll move past that. I, I think from what I was saying, you explore an office with a hammer and kill things. That's about as, that's about as far as I know. So yeah, sure. Let's uh let's have a go. Okay. So uh kind of more of a a voxel a voxel influenced style of visual design. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize it literally... Okay. Uh, going straight in. Must be a hell of an infestation. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sure. So what am I up to? Lou. That one's occupied apparently. What the fuck? What? Why are there two? Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like prop hunt where they're pretending to be other things. Okay. Alright. I really like the voxel -y aesthetic, though. Like, voxels in general. I really enjoy voxels. There's something really nice about them. Can I break the window? Hell yeah. Can I jump out the window? Oh, there's no jump. Okay. So we're literally just... So I guess what we're doing is looking for things that are out of place. A bit like the toilet. Can I go to the wall? No. Okay. Hmm. So this chair then is like just in the middle of the room. Is that sound effect? Hmm. Hmm. So I don't, uh, already. I really. Oh. That wasn't there before. <laughs> Wait, can they. Can they creep up on me? Yeah, I think they do. I think they move around when I'm not looking. Because they, they weren't there before. Oh. So it really is like prop hunt. From, from back in the day, when that was super popular. So they... Ah, I see you. Return to the elevator so that you can try this again. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, here. So is it just gonna restart the level? Yeah, I guess so. Oh! Do it again, but better. 
Okay. Why am I... Oh! I'm timed, and he's now watching me. Okay. They hide poorly. Don't let them spread. Uh, well, one was in here. Hello! Just one left. Oh, I can't remember which one he was. I think he was another chair. Was he another chair? Yep, there he is. This building has more chambers that need cleansing. Return to the elevator. Okay. Oh, so it's like a level by level thing. No nonsense this time. Do your job. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? Also, that elevator music kind of reminds me of Roscoe McQueen. Crush them. There's another one. Oh. I'm gonna go this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of like the... I, I'm really enjoying the pixely style of this. It's not like just your regular, you know, like PS1 wannabe type thing. The voxely nature of this is nice. Ah. <laughs> they do not feel pain. Oh. Okay. Can't go through there. They do not feel pain, keep going. I mean, they kind of groan in agony when I do crush them, so... I don't know about that. Let's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is... this is entertaining. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay. So I'm interested because there was, like, there was one... Oh. So he's a... Oh no, I ran out of time! No nonsense this time. Do your job. Okay. So I was gonna say... There's one. I was gonna say... I was curious about whether or not... There he is. Yeah, I know, I know. I was curious about, like, is it just chairs? But then immediately afterwards, oh. <laughs> so it's not every time, because he wasn't there before. Keep looking, it's waiting for you. That took longer than expected. I need you to work faster. Return to the elevator. What is this guy? Like, he's like bleeding from the nose. I love the elevator. It's great. This floor's geometry has become uncooperative. Work quickly. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes things a bit more difficult. You're one of them. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, I think you're one. And that one. Uh, one more, one more, one more. 40 seconds. There's five chairs. Okay. What about here? A bin? No. Ooh. Oh, did it like 
I don't know. Something broke. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, I ran out of time. Okay, so the whole point of these playview things is to still try and maintain a level of a review perspective, as I've said before in the earlier episodes of these. So, um, what can I say about this? Well, for starters, the hit impact of the hammer is satisfying. The combination of the sound design and the way it's animated, it, it is satisfying. So, I definitely find that element of the game to be enjoyable. I think the visual aesthetics are really nice and pleasant. They're not going to blow your socks off, but they do exactly... Ah, I see you. <laughs> Why is he bleeding more? Just, just go. Why was he bleeding more? Yeah, I, I think for what it's trying to achieve, which, you know, is obviously... Please go, I'm going. I think for what it's trying to achieve, which is a very, you know, it's designed to just give you a simple yet effective gameplay loop. And it's fun. I, I'm i enjoying the sense of you. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Am I like beating the shit out of him? Wait. Oh. Oh, that's... Peculiar. So I have to... Okay, so I'm going to do left first. So, one... Two... So there'll be five on each, presumably. Uh, let's go in here. No. No. Ah, uh, there's one there. This is the same level as the first one, I think. So, in here, two fridges. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Looks like cheese. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. I think I'm gonna run out of time because I've spent a bit too long on the left. I'm still looking for one. Um. Oh god. Oh wait, 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 wait. Nope. Uh okay, let's go let's go right. I'm gonna look at the right screen now. I think I might have to I think I might have to do something in in editing to make this a bit more easy on the eyes. That's one. I like you can see where I've like whacked stuff while going on the left. Yeah, I'm out of time. Okay. Right, left first. So... Ah, oh, fuck. One... Two... Nope. Is it- I'm wondering if, like, they're gonna get better at hiding. Three... Four... Uh, I still need that final one. Let's just go to town. Oh, I got him! Nice! Okay, so, uh, right screen now. Um, okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> Was he another door? Nope. Uh... Uh, no. That one. This kind of reminds me of, uh, Angerfoot a little bit in terms of how it's, how it's designed visually. Oh, I'm sh oh, shit, I'm running out of time. The loo there. Two more. 
I'm running out of time again. No! No! <laughs> Okay. Right, we got this. So... Oh no, great start. Fridge. There wasn't anything in there last time, we're gonna ignore that. One chair, two chair, and then there was a door. I think... He was... Oh damn it, I've forgotten which one the last one was. Oh wait, was he in here? Yes! Okay. Right, right hand side. Oh god, I'm, I'm stuck. Get off. Okay. Desk. Second door. Nope, he's not one. Nope, he's not one. Chair. Fuck. Two more. Chair. Wait, one more. One more, one more, one more. In here? Oh, there, 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 there. Yes! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, what the f What is wrong with this guy? I always hated my mother. I lived in terror of becoming like her. What horrible comedy that, in the end, I even die like her. Twisted by hate and desire, I was cruel to you before. Your task was always impossible. My hope was never fair. I offer this as an explanation of my hate. I offer no excuse. Do not worry yourself with the timer. It is not for you. I am being unborn, and once again I am amused by the simple beauty of colours. Such abstract and fleeting things. I will unknow them. It was good to live. It was, oh god, I ran out If only I had more time. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay, this is not... This is not what I was expecting, so... I'm trying to remember if- oh! Oh, okay. Um. Oh! You can open them with- What the f- Oh,
Is that it? It is! Oh, okay. So, based on that ending, what an interesting idea. I mean, obviously it's not, you know, it's not mega ultra developed or anything. It's, you know, it's short and to the point. And I guess, you know, if it is an analogy for larger sickness and, you know, stuff that could be extremely serious. I mean, it, it, there was a moment when it was booting up saying that it was in memory of someone. And this was a developer's attempt at expressing those feelings, the, you know, smashing those things that, you know, hide in plain sight. Because that's the thing, you often don't know that you're ill until it starts to seriously affect you. Um, to also, like, think about it a little bit more, I mean, obviously, as the game goes on, you are, you know, kind of constantly being faced with a vermin that is is endlessly coming back, endlessly, even though they're not exactly hiding very well, that you know, they're hiding in plain sight, it, it definitely delivers a... Like, I know during my initial gameplay, I definitely focused more on the smashing than not, but thinking about it in hindsight, after now seeing the ending and having a chance to digest it for five minutes, you can definitely see that there's a sense of hopelessness and that, you know, no matter how much you do, it's always coming back. And again, I mean, if you are just in that position where the best you can do is smash things, sometimes I guess that's, you know, it's, it's a way of expressing frustration and rage and helplessness. The fact that the best you can do is smash things with a sledgehammer, but ultimately you're not going to win. So I think in thinking about it more, you do get more out of it and again this game's free so by all means i encourage people to play the game and just just see what you think uh as always i'd like to thank my wonderful top patreons game master dark raptor 86 bfd survivor and shikotsky thank you ever so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon